this is the finished product. All right, so this tutorial is going to be a slower version talking about how to bring a model from Blender into Gary's Mod. This is just for a regular prop. This tutorial is not for player models or rag dolls or things with multiple parts or anything like that. This is just for a singular prop. This is just to get you in the door so you can make something and bring into Blender or bring into Gary's Mod and say, hey, I did this. You can build upon this. Um, this also is not explaining how materials uh, line up and work on the model. Okay, that is called UV mapping. I don't know how to do that either. So this is just, again, simply making a cube in Blender, putting a texture on it, and bringing it into Gary's Mod. That's all that we're doing. So first things first, check the description down below for the project files. That will have the QC file, the VMT file, Crowbar, Blender, Blender Source Tools, VTF Edit, everything you need. This tutorial, because of this space and time, the uh, Blender is 4.2.2. And this add-on you need is uh, Blender Source Tools 3.3.1. So, first off, we'll open up Blender 4.2.2. We'll go up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click the little drop-down up here, and also feel free to pause the video and change the playback speed to something slower if I'm going too fast, okay? It's a video, pause, stop, rewind are all things you can do install from disk and in my case I have the blender source tools also in my downloads folder not in the uh, project folder so just because that's closer I'm gonna go there make sure the box is checked if it's not already and yours is gonna look red so we're in if it doesn't already pop up here we're in the scene properties so this is one two three four five down from the top and for export path this is where it's going to export the SMD file to so Obviously, I want this to be in the tutorial folder, which I've already made. It's the project folder. Um, SMD, make sure that's selected. And then engine path. This is the other uh, important thing. So click the folder. We're going to go to your location wherever you have Gary's Mod installed, okay? So in my case, I don't have it on the local C disk. You know, C is where your Windows is installed, okay? Um, by default, it'll be C and then uh, program files, uh, Steam apps, or sorry, Steam and then Steam apps. Um, but in my case, it is uh, here Steam apps, common Gary's mod bin. Now, when you're in the bin folder, don't click anything. We're just linking to the folder itself. So click accept, and that's it. Now we're going to overwrite uh, Blender's startup file. That we, we don't have to do this every single time we open up Blender, because who wants to do that? So file, defaults save startup file overwrite now we're going to start uh, the process of getting the model ready and all that stuff so select the model press s on your keyboard and then press one and five this will scale it up to 15 times the uh, normal size this is because blender units are smaller than gary's mod units for physical size so we want to make it bigger that way it's going to be I don't know, maybe about the size of the player model, I can't remember. But um, we're going to name the cube all lower cases. Right now it's capital C, so this is programming basically, okay? Punctuation, um, everything matters, it has to be precise. And now we click and drag this and move this up to scene collection, that way it's not in line with the light in the camera, okay? We need this in scene collection, not in collection. Next, we're gonna make sure that the uh, material works. So uh, we're gonna click the box just so it's selected. Come over to the material, which is the red circle looking thing. Change the name of the material from material to cube underscore text. The underscore is the, it's uh, just to the left of the plus and the equals. So it's shift and then that key. That's how you get an underscore, okay? So again, all lower cases, no spaces, nothing. It's cube underscore text, hit enter. Now go to the tab up here that says shading. And we're going to drag in the, uh, we're gonna drag in the image that we wanna put on here. We're gonna drag it right down here. And the little yellow circle that says color, click that and drag that to the 
yellow base color. And there we go. There is your texture on the block. Next, go up to that thing where we set up uh, Blender source, uh, source Engine Export, so the scene, so one, two, three, four, five, and click Export, cube.smd. That's going to output cube.smd into that folder that we chose here, the export path. That is basically um, almost ready for Curlbar. So we are going to open Curlbar now, which looks like this. And again, if your Garry's Mod is not on your C drive, if you have it on a secondary internal drive or external hard drive, you have to go over here to set up games, click add, and then here where it says name, we're going to call this, I don't know, Gmod external SSD, whatever you want to call it, and hit enter. Now we have to go find these one, two, three, four, five, six paths, uh, files. Okay, so the executable, game info, studio MDL, yada, 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 yada. So under the executable.exe, choose browse. And again, mine is on my F drive, it's not on my C drive. So F for me, in my case. Um, Steam library, common and Gary's Mod. But here, we're not going to go into Gary's Mod quite yet. Because we have to go here five more times, we're going to right-click the Gary's Mod folder and go to Pin to Quick Access. I've already done this, so it puts it right there for me. And now, uh, hl2.exe, double-click that. You'll see that change to that, what we just found. Next is the game info. And notice that this is in Left 4 Dead 2, Left 4 Dead 2. So this one's probably going to be in Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, right? Making sense? So we go to our little pinned thing we pinned there, then go into the second Gary's mod, scroll down, and there's gameinfo.txt. And all these last four are in a folder called bin. So we go to browse, we go to Gary's mod, we go to the bin folder, studio MDL, we do that for the rest of these. HLMV, bin, hammer, Aries mod bin hammer VPK so Gary's mod bin VPK not GMAD and you are good to go so now we're going to go over what the QC file is okay so we right click in my case I have a program called notepad plus plus you could just use notepad if you want to and here we go. So, model name. This is what you will search in Gary's Mod to actually find your prop to place it. This could be anything. It's completely unrelated to any other naming scheme of anything. So, this could be whatever you want to, but it does have to be something .mdl. Next is the body. Just know that, again, this is for just a singular prop with just one thing. So, we're just doing the cube.smd file that we made. Next is CD materials. So in programming, this means change directory. Um, this is in the materials folder. So if we go here to, you know, Gary's mod, and we have, you know, add-ons and all that stuff, this CD thing starts in materials. So if we do cube slash, we're looking for a folder called cube. Again, you're doing this for organization because you don't want to overwrite some other material in the game, okay? So, cube, enter. Now we've made a folder, okay? This is where we will put the VMT and VTF files once we're done and ready. We'll get to that in a bit. This slash is very important. Do not use this slash, okay? It's gotta be this one. Next, sequence. Basically this is technically for an animation. Everything has to have this. We did not make an animation, it's just going to use the static, non-animated SMD file, which is fine for this particular thing. Anything else you want to know about this is not covered in this tutorial, this is just for this cube, okay? I can't help for pretty much anything else, I'm very new to this myself, and there's no good tutorials to learn this shit. Um, collision model, same thing, this is how your player model and every other object interacts with this cube. So since it's just a basic cube, we can actually use the same model that we made, okay? I'm not going over making a custom physics model and stuff like that, okay? So this is ready to go. We can open up Crowbar, go to the Compile tab, 
select our game from the drop down here. See, so it says game that has the model compiler, and we made the Gary's mod external SSD. And now we're going to go to the top here on the top line where it says QC input, and we're going to click browse and go to the QC file. In my case, we put that in Dropbox and then Blender Tutorial. And I'm just going to actually pin this so I can get back to this easy. Okay, cube.qc. Now we can click Compile. And there were no errors or nothing, so that's good. Now what Crowbar has just done is, you can look here, it even tells you, it has put and compiled those model files and put them actually into the Gary's Mod folder for you, so you don't have to do anything. Okay, so if we go to the Gary's Mod folder here and we go to Models, you'll see Cube. Perfect. Awesome. Great. Notice that we didn't put a cube slash here, so it's not in a folder called cube. We should probably do that, but don't worry about it. So we're going to go to the materials folder, go to the cube folder, and now we're going to work with the texture, okay? Remember in Blender, we called the texture, and in Blender it's called the material. We called the material cube underscore text. This references the VMT file, okay? So we're going to open that. I'm going to make this bigger for you guys so you can read this. This base texture references where the VTF file is located. This is not going to a folder. This is going to straight the, the actual VTF file itself. So you could put VTF here at the end if you want to, but you don't have to. This program does it automatically. Anyway, so in that folder. So what you're not seeing before this is the whole, um, you know, Gary's Mod, Materials, Path, okay? This is just in the Materials folder, then the folder cube that we made, and then we're saying, okay, the VMT file is called cube underscore text, and it's located inside the cube folder. I'm just thoroughly explaining this because people were not understanding this. I don't know how, but yeah. Okay, now we actually have to bring our texture into Gary's Mod now, so we open up VTF edit VTF edit open that baby up go to file import find our image when it's loaded go to file oh sorry uh, just click OK on this when it's loaded click file and then if it wants to load still thinking I don't know why this is taking so long okay file save as and I'm saving it in the same project folder. We're going to call this, hmm, maybe cube underscore text. The same thing that we named our other thing. Okay, easy peasy. Now we have a VMT and a VTF file. And now we can bring those into the materials folder in Gary's Mod. So you just drag those into that cube folder in materials that we made. And you should be good to go. So we open up Gary's Mod. And we search for cube. I'm going to re-render the icon so it actually has the texture on it. And there we go. Now you'll notice I used a PNG so it's transparent on some of the corners. So I can actually see, see through it on some portions. Yeah. Well, there's the cube. You did it. Now again, everything's in the description down below all the project files. This tutorial is not for player models. That whole process is really long and confusing. Okay, I don't know how to do it myself. If I did, I would happily make a tutorial explaining it, but I don't know. Okay, hopefully this helped slow things down for you guys, and yeah.